a lot of women don't realize how important it is to have a peaceful mindset. And I would say one of the main benefits for me, it helps you to have good relationships in your life. And it also helps you to be content and to be happy even when you are in the midst of a storm. I'm a wife and also a pastor's wife. I've been married 30 and a half years and a pastor's wife for 30 years. I specialize in teaching Christian wives how to thrive, develop good relationships with their husbands through faith-based content. So if you want to learn how to be a good Christian wife, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. Watch what you intake. You watch what you intake by guarding your heart. Pay attention to what you let go inside of you. And you do that by watching what you intake on social media, what you read, what you interact with, how you communicate, what you listen to, and also watch on TV. If you allow a lot of garbage to go inside of you, then that's what's going to come out of you. You can't expect something good to come out of something that needs to be cleaned. Watch your thinking. Your thinking has a lot to do with what's going on inside of your mind and how the way that you feel. If you think negative, it's going to cause you to behave negatively. What you think about and what you focus on, that is what you become. Philippians 4 and 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So you want to make sure that you are thinking about something that's good. And I do understand that we all have had some negative things that happen to us in life. But you have to learn how to appreciate your storms, difficult seasons in your life that you have been through. I'm thankful for all the negative things that have happened to me in my life because it has made me stronger. It made me who I am today. And it also taught me a lot of things. And it made me to where I want to reach out to other Christian women and share my experiences with them. So that that way I can help someone else that's going through the same thing that I went through. So that's how you change that negative thing in your life into to something positive. In the Bible, it talks about how that all things work out for your good, for those who love the Lord, those who are chosen. So if you love the Lord and if you are chosen, things will work out for your good. Just have patience. Another thing that you are going to have to do in order to have a peaceful mindset is that you're going to have to pray. And when you pray, ask God to renew your mind, to help you to think the way that he does, to help you to focus on the good, to clean your mind and also your heart. Another reason why you want to pray and ask God to renew your mind because you can't trust everything that you think about. A lot of times your mind is going to tell you things even about yourself that's not true. And the only way that you're going to be able to resist it is that you're going to have to be able to recognize that it's a lie. Read your Bible and meditate on His Word. The only way you're going to be able to meditate on His Word is you're going to have to take your time and maybe read one verse a day and just meditate on that particular verse for that day. Or you can also meditate on that particular verse for a whole week. The main thing is that you want to get the Word inside of your heart. I want to share a couple of scriptures that you should focus on when you read your Bible. Isaiah 41 and 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. It just feels good just to know that whatever you're going through, and if you feel that you're not strong enough, just know that God is with you, that He will be your strength. So you don't have to depend on yourself, depend more on God. There's so much going on in the world today. Seems like every day I turn on the news, you're going to hear about a shooting 
earthquakes, fires. And in order to be able to hold on to God's peace is you're going to have to learn not to be afraid, not to let those things cause you to fear. So don't let your heart be troubled and don't be afraid. Matthew, the 11th chapter in the 28th through the 31st says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burdens is light. So whenever I read that scripture, I think about how that no matter what it is that I'm going through, God said to come to him and he wants us to give it to him. He says in his word that my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So things that you can't carry on your own because you don't have enough strength, come to God. He will carry the load for you. 1 Peter 5 and 7 says, cast your cares on him. God has given us an invitation to give him our burdens. He cares for us. And just by thinking of that should give you confidence and also encourage you to let you know that you're not alone. God is with you. He's waiting there. Just allow him to help you. Isaiah 26 and the third verse says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. In order to have God's perfect peace, you're going to have to keep your mind stayed on Him. And how you keep your mind stayed on God is by meditating on His Word throughout your day. And it will bring you peace. The last scripture I want to share with you comes from Philippians, the fourth chapter in the sixth verse says, Instead, in every situation with prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, tell your request to God, and the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I'm a witness that God will give you peace when you're going through some difficult situations. <sighs> On July the 19th of 2020, I lost my mom. And I remember when I lost her, it hurt me a lot. But I can say that I'm able to move forward and to overcome her loss only because God has given me peace. So I want to encourage you to cast your cares on Him, to leave your burden at the Lord's feet, to trust in Him. He will carry you. Be grateful. Learn to be grateful for whatever season that you're going through in your life. And always think about how that there is someone else that's less fortunate than you. So be grateful for things that you feel that is not as important. Learn to appreciate every aspect of life. Happiness doesn't come from things. It doesn't come from money. It comes from doing God's will, trusting in Him, abiding in Him, and accepting His peace. If you're going through a difficult season in your life, in your marriage as a parent, schedule a consultation with me. I will have all the information below. If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you accept God's peace. Bye.